Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Vanilla Classic and our Hardcore Dwarf Hunter. Let's grab Marshall Dugan's quest here. Greetings. That is actually a breadcrumb into Westfall, which we won't be doing be for careful. a long time. And I believe Smith Argus here has a delivery to Greetings. Stormwind. Be careful. Thank you guys for clicking on the video and choosing to be here today. I really do appreciate that. And I hope you are doing well. King's honor, friend. I think we're going to head south. We have a couple of things to turn in at the farms. Bags are still not great. Go with honor, friend. There really isn't a lot we can do about that. Uh, which farm was it? I, I think it was the, far, the farm that was furthest away. And then we also have the... The potion. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. To Mabel. I'll probably never remember which farm is which. We'll, we'll, we'll end up going to both of them, I think. So let's start over at this one and see. Later. All right, there we go. That's one down. day to you. Have a good one. Alright, what do we want to do next? We have further concerns is going to take us out to the east. Maybe it's time to do that. Uh, we're getting close to halfway through level 9. Princess must die. Yeah, let's, let's go out to the east and just maybe do a little bit out that way. And if we do that, then potentially that will ding us level 10. And we can head back over and do our hunter quest over in Dunmoral. It, it is unfortunate that, there, that there's not a hunter trainer here in uh, here in uh, Elwyn. It would be nice to be able to do those class quests in any of the starting zones. Unfortunately, as you guys know, I'm not really a big fan of class quests. Sometimes they're good flavor. Oftentimes the writing and the lore in them is ultimately disappointing. I point specifically to the Druid class quests, which were just, when I read them, especially the bear one, it was all just kind of silly. It, it wasn't really what I, what I would have imagined for my Druid lore. Uh, so yeah, I'm not really... A big fan of class quest. The hunter one specifically, I, I wish could just be a lot more straightforward. I I'm pretty sure they have us tame three different pets. They have me use the button once, okay? That that proves that I can do it. Y you don't have to have me do it three times. It's okay. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit tedious for me. 
as a, as a person who's not a big fan. Uh, let's... Well, we are, we are meleeing you. Oh man, I can't wait to have the pet though. Speaking of pets, I can't wait to have a freaking pet. Because, you know, we run into enemies sometimes. Especially when I'm in a low level area, I don't always pay a lot of attention to if we're gonna aggro one guy. If, when we have a pet, the pet will pick him up. We'll get some range on him and we'll blast him. Right now, it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit troublesome. But I have been surprised by how, how, how efficient the hunter has been so far without the pets. It's not, it's not gimped, I don't feel like, in the way that the rogue was. The rogue felt really, really slow and just weak until we got, uh, until we got dual wield at level 10. And then it felt much better. Uh, this hasn't really been like that. The only place where the hunter, I feel like, maybe falls down is that I, I don't think we can melee down an at-level enemy without shooting them at all. You know what I mean? Like, if I were to run into an at-level enemy, maybe someone level 10, uh, and we had to rely on the melee, because as we've proven in, in vanilla classic, guys, you can't just walk out to get range on an enemy. You can't do that. It doesn't work unless they're slowed. So yeah, we, we can't just melee them down. I don't think we're strong enough in melee just to melee down an at-level mob. And I really, I'm not going to test it in a hardcore run, so. Yeah, we're not getting really any of the meat that we need over here. There are plenty of wolves. You'd think we'd be getting some wolf meat, but I guess we're not fighting a lot. Maybe we should uh, fix that. Maybe we need to fight a little bit more on the way. I would also like to go down here a bit and explore off the road. We need to work on our mining and get some resources flowing in. There we go. That's the stringy wolf meat that we need. Let's take a look at who's online this morning. 42 people at 1020 on a Wednesday. Pretty impressive, guys. Keep up the grind. One of you will make it to max level. Waver is not a slash command, Robert. I need to get some like basic slash commands, some emotes and stuff that I can toss out. And just kind of like make little macros, like buttons I can press for them. Even I should be able to do something like that. Even I should be able to figure that out. So I do like to wave at people who wave at me, but like... I often fumble my... My quick typing. I can type quite fast if getting it right the first time is not a problem. Like, I'm not gonna get it right the first time. It's gonna be misspelled and... There's gonna be an extra letter in there somewhere that doesn't need to be there. And then I'll fix it really quick, but by then the person has run out of range, you know what I mean? Like, they're gone. If I had some buttons to click, that might work better. Uh, let's see, there's some rocks down this way. That's a likely place for there to be minerals. Mm, or not. Alright, we have a bunch of guys over here that we don't want to mess with. Ooh. You are a rare Theros Lightfingers. I wish there was any way that we could we could pull this guy. He probably dropped something really cool. Jared's Landing. All right, we got no ore going on over here at Jared's Landing.
probably a good time to either let our natural regen heal us up or to eat. Let's just avoid combat here for a minute. We'll see if we can find some ore. It's really not been very plentiful. Not at all. We are going to prioritize getting our pet, which means as soon as we ding level 10, we are going to stop every single thing we were doing. We are going to hearth back to Goldshire if we're not over that way, and we are going to go get on the tram and uh, take the flights. As soon as we ding, we, we need to get that done. And then I, I don't think we have many more hunter quests, do we? Once we get our pet... I like class quests that you don't have to do, because usually I skip those. There were some good mage ones that we did. The mage was a good example of decent class quests, because they didn't seem like they were all necessary. You didn't have to do them. And the lore and the writing was pretty good, so I didn't mind doing some of those for the... And the rewards were decent too, from what I recall. So I didn't mind doing those. But it's the ones where you have to do them to get your poisons, or your pets, or your stance. I don't really care for it. I would like it a lot more if those quests were actually well written. And, and actually embodied like a good solid class fantasy. Oftentimes in Druid, I'm really looking at you here, they don't. Oh, uh, we are going to leash you. You are level 8. We're at the pumpkin patch. We're not going to fight uh we're not going to fight princess right now. We're not going to do we're not going to do that again, okay? We're not going to die to princess again. On the character we rolled after dying to princess on the last character that died. <laughs> What can I do for you? For the Alliance. Okay, so we have to hunt down well the met. missing guards and then kill eight prowlers and young two, five young Thank forest you. bears. Robert speaks, take two. It's five young bears. Let's track some of this stuff. Protect the frontier. Lost guards we can't track. The first lost guard is going to be right up here. Let's go grab him first. Gray forest wolves we don't need. They are not prowlers. We could avoid them if we want, but we might have to clear some. Oh, here's a prowler. Level 9. And we're missing shots. We missed arcane shot. That's really bad for us. I foresee potentially popping a potion in this combat. Let's do stone skin preemptively. Because, yeah, without being able to make potions, I'd really like to hang on to them as long as possible. But, yeah, it does look like we're going to need one here. I should pop one just to be safe. Oh, this is scary. Do we just need to go back 
Do we just need to go back to Lock Madon and not do this right now? I'm not feeling good about being on this on this side of the zone. I'm gonna get us. I'm gonna get us back to Lock Madon. By Lock Madon, guys, I mean Dunmoro, obviously. Obviously, yeah, we're going back. Sorry, I, I can't risk it. I've got really bad vibes about being over there. I'm, now I'm thinking about the Murlocs. I'm thinking about the forest bears and how chunky they're gonna be. And I can't, I can't bring myself to stay. It, it would, it wouldn't be a good choice. It'd probably be more enter entertaining, but ultimately, it could get us killed. That being said. We need to do we need to do Evershine because that's gonna have some lower level stuff for us to work on, including the snow leopards. So yeah, let's let's go do that. I feel like that is best. We do have a breadcrumb that we can turn in and stormwind. Yeah, shipment to stormwind. So we'll do that. We'll get a little bit of a little bit of experience. There's also Elmore's task. That is a breadcrumb that will take us to Lock Modan eventually. Uh, we can turn in that part of it and grab the follow-up if we want. It probably would even be okay, honestly, for us just to grind out the rest of this level. I mean, we can go over to, uh, to Camp Everstill if we want to, but... I will remember to turn it back up once we are not in a city, but... The Stormwind music is a little bit obtrusive. It doesn't know volume regulation. It doesn't seem to care what we have the volume set at or how loud other tracks play. It just plays as loud as it can. Which is usually way too loud. Uh, the Elmore's task quest is in the Dwarven District. Shipment to Stormwind. Oh, it's right up here, Robert. It's marking it on the map, my man. What can I do for you? Uh, explosive rockets could complement our dynamite. Yeah, let's let's do that. Safe travels. Let's do the explosive rockets. I wonder if these have a cast time. It, it, use it doesn't say anything about the cast time, but neither does the dynamite. So hard hard to say. Let's move these like that. Paradox the warlock dead at level seventeen in Darkshore. Darkshore, man, you went far to get yourself there because you did not start as a night elf. That's for sure. Rip, brother, go again. When you see high-level characters standing in town, it's actually impressive. I'm even impressed by level 34. Like, I get impressed by anything that survived level 25 because I'm pretty sure the priest was level 25 when she fell down the elevator shaft and died. So, yeah. What a shame. You know, I never looked back. <laughs> I never looked back. I felt I felt immense grief for about a day. But then, you know, it doesn't really bother me anymore. Could do a little bit of crafting here. Probably not too much. We can make a couple more dynamite sticks would be useful. Uh, 
I wonder if we should just keep making the rough blasting powder until it's green without really working on other stuff because that seems to be our cheapest upgrade. It does take a long time for it to cast. Thank you for that. See, I can type fast sometimes when I when I focus really hard. I used to type a lot more than I do, obviously. I spent a large part of my life thinking that I was going to write fantasy novels, so I, I've typed probably hundreds of thousands of pages in my life. And, uh, and then as a training developer, I, I kept typing pages and pages. Alright, let's head to Elmore's task. I think it should be just up here. Maybe we'll see it on the map. Yeah, there it is. We'll turn that in, then we'll get on the tram. I really enjoy seeing you guys in the game. I really... I think I don't want to say I get a kick out of it that like minimizes I it. I, get a, I do get a kick out of it. And that's not trying to minimize it. I think it's really awesome. See you soon. No. And then Stormpike's delivery will Save grab. Us. We will eventually go to Lockmodon on this character, though it might not be for some time. What's on your mind? Uh, what's on my mind is that I would love to talk to I a merchant. The finest wares in the land. Sell some of our junk. Uh, those are an upgrade. I need to rebuy my C key to my open my character sheet because it got unbound when I had that uh, that other add-on. Shadow gems. I am gonna keep this. You guys, let me know. Do I need shadow gems and uh, do I need any gems or can I vendor them? That is my question. For now, we're gonna keep it just in case. Cause if I don't, if I don't keep it, I need it. Someone's gonna yell at me, and they won't be wrong. You know. Uh, refreshing spring water, we haven't drank yet, and we're gonna be out of the range of it being useful pretty soon, so I'm going to sell it. See you soon! And yeah, that's, that's about as good as it gets. To the tram we go. See, for me, showing up to an empty terminal is good. It's better than showing up and watching one of the trams pull away. And, like, just missing it. Because one should be inbound any moment now. Let's just sit and wait. We can have a little sit. I love that we're, like, we're sitting by the trash can. Like, I think we can get a nicer seat. They're all by trash cans. That's hilarious. If there are no good seats in, in, the, in the tram... Because they're all by, like, barrels. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You try to get a seat that's not by a garbage can, and you just end up moving to a different garbage can. See, on this side, it's, like, relatively barrel-free. Like, they even have a table over there. What's with all the barrels on this other side? And yes, the tram photo is going to be the thumbnail for the episode. Yeah, it'll probably have the lowest views of any hardcore episode I've put up. But that's okay. The tram needs love too. And we need to think about that. So I'm, I'm curious, like fellow coffee drinkers, how many of you guys out there use a Keurig? 
And then, of that number, how many of you guys hate your Kerrig? Yeah. Our coffee pot broke a while back. We had a ninja coffee maker. I like middling. I don't know. if It wasn't very expensive, but it wasn't super cheap. It lasted a year and then it died. Probably from overuse and neglect. Uh, so we were like, well, we haven't had a Kerrig in a long time. Let's try that again. Big mistake. Oh. Yeah, it's one of the it's one of the single cup ones, so it doesn't have like a pot it can fill, right? It's it's one cup at a time kind of thing. And the max that it'll spit out in a cup is twelve ounces. Twelve ounces isn't isn't cutting it. Uh, do we have any? Do we have any breadcrumbs in Iron Forge? I don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I think we can just head out. But yeah, I, I hate this Kerrig, and now I'm going to have to invest money in a real coffee pot. The worst thing is, like, as someone who habitually lets their coffee get cold, even in a Yeti mug, there's no way to easily just top it off and warm it back up, you know what I mean? You have to brew more coffee. You have to, like, we grind beans, so that involves grinding the beans, putting them in the little Kerrig thing, putting that in the, in the machine, and then you, you, run, the, you run the coffee. And, uh, yeah, it's just too many steps to say, like, I want this to be a little bit warmer. <laughs> and now I have to brew a whole nother cup. I think it would be a nice thing to have, like, in addition to a traditional coffee pot, right? It's for the one-off. Like, I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the, the carrier and I'm going to put it in my office. And then replace that with a normal coffee pot for the kitchen. Yeah, I think I think that's the plan. You guys have convinced me. That's what we're doing. And so, yeah, part of what makes the character a little bit more difficult is, you know, we don't use the, the pods, that the pre-vacuum sealed ones. Uh, we grind the beans and then fill this little container that fits in where the pod would go. So it's funny because it's like you have this thing that's like it's meant to be super convenient, right? Because they want you to buy the pods, but then you take it and you add a few steps to it. Suddenly it's a lot less convenient. So yeah, how many of you guys have a Kerrig and hate it? Because <laughs> the Kerrig is like ruining, it's ruining coffee for me. Because like the 12 ounces is, is firstly not enough. Secondly, no way to, no way to heat it up, no way to top it off. So if you get your like... If you get your whole milk coffee mixture wrong, I don't put sugar in it, but I do put milk. If you get that mixture wrong and you get your coffee too cold, you just you have nothing you can do. You can microwave it. And who wants to live like, like that? Who wants to live like an animal? Whew. It's rough. Okay, so let's just get down into the Karnos area, I think. Or we can head right out to Camp Winter still, Winter Spring. Ever shine. Oh, it's just Brunel Village. I'm just making up names, you know. Making up entire village names. Camp Evershine. It, it, it's some kind of brew reference, beer reference, or alcohol reference. I know that. And that's about all I know. Oh gosh, as soon as we shoot the bear, we just get blindsided. Let's do stone skin. Let's put out some additional damage here. Oh, that puts both items on cooldown. We can't use them both in the same fight. See, I don't usually use items like this, so I had no idea that they shared a cooldown. That is very interesting. Oh, well, okay then, now we know. So, grabbing this was kind of useless in a way, because we can make our own dynamite. I should have taken one of the other things. I'm going to pop a potion here, I think, because I'd like to assure our survival. Okay. Yeah, that got unnecessarily iffy. Let's go ahead and eat some buff food. Now that we're, now that we're back here, we have an actual objective. Let's buff up.
We do need to come over here and get this copper for sure. Oh, and if anybody has a really, what they believe to be a really good, like, solid coffee maker, like, if you're thinking about your coffee maker and you're like, you need this, you should jump into the Discord and fire me an Amazon link <laughs> for said coffee makers so that I can uh, gauge my options. Like I said, I, we had a ninja that I thought was decent that was going to last for a while, and uh, the burner on the bottom kind of, like, melted itself. I don't know if it was... Something we did wrong? Or just some kind of defect? But yeah, the, the burner pad that keeps the pot warm kind of warped. And then like, eventually, it just kind of, the whole thing just stopped working. It's almost like it blew a, a capacitor or a fuse somewhere, like, <laughs> on its breadboard or something. But yeah, it died after only about a year or so. Which... Is not a long time. Is there a fishing trainer? You are a fishing trainer. Um, yeah, let's we don't we haven't trained fishing yet, and I actually would like to do that. What can I do for you? You could train me. Uh, in fact, that's all you can do for me, it turns out. Uh, he doesn't sell anything. He doesn't sell Be a fish. Oh, we can't run through this island here. Or this little land. This is like full of wolves. There's like a pack of wolves. Let's go below though and get the copper. Yeah, basically never go up here where these wolves are. If you run right through this, that is the line to get to Brunel Village. But if you run through there, you will die. You will aggro about five or six wolves. One of them will be like a matriarch or an alpha or something. And they'll howl to each other to summon their friends. And they will eat your face. So I would recommend doing what we did there and giving it a wide berth and just kind of staying away. Well, that would be my recommendation. Wait, and, oh, Fisher Supplies! Perfect, perfect. Ooh, I want this. I don't have the money for this stuff, but... Buying it anyway. I don't have the money or the space, but... There we go. We are ready to fish. Alright, he wants us to take out some of the local wildlife. It would have been nice to do this while we were doing the uh, boars before, but it's actually fine to do it now. It's more kill XP, right? Watch, get her back. So I Talk I'm fine with me. it. The perfect stout. Shimmer weeds, six of them. I believe we steal these from the trolls. With you. Great to meet and she wants us to switch some of her brew out with the one at the inn to prove to people that hers is superior. Keep your feet on the ground. That's what we'll, just a little bit of beer theft. Great to meet you. No one will ever know until we tell them all. Ah, uh, light leather. I don't think I could possibly need this for engineering. I'm gonna sell it. I hope that works out. I just need to have my bags as empty as possible. 
Uh, can I cook anywhere here? Is this a, is this a cook fire? It might be a cook fire. It is a cook fire. That's awesome. Okay, let's cook everything. We'll keep what we want and we will sell what we don't want. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep a stack of the roasted boar meat for now. And then we'll sell everything beyond that that we craft. So we'll sell the charred wolf meat. I'm going to sell these two. It's worth the silver, and then we can make two of these. See you soon. What can I get for you today? Be good. Okay, let's track our quest here. There we go. Uh, we'll work on this, and this should definitely get us level 10. Okay, one of you guys mentioned increasing the, the distance at which the floating health bars appear, and I want to do that, I just haven't looked up how to yet. And from what I understand, it's not in the interface settings. I, I think it's something we have to actually do like some kind of slash command to do. So I just, I need to look it up because in the interface options, there's nothing like that. Yeah, there's nothing to control at the distance they come up. Yeah, I will look into that. I, I would like to I would like to do it so that wherever I target them, they then get the health bar no matter how far away they are. That would be ideal. That would probably require some kind of add-on. And you know me, I'm kind of I've been reverting recently with my feelings on add-ons. You you see that obviously we stopped using Questy. And I feel better about it. It's going to lead to some inefficiency and some me, me pondering things, but I feel better not using it. If the game had in-game tracking like built into it, that's fine. We'd, we'd use what they put in, but... I think I'm done with Questy for now. So this is Gnomergon. We do have a quest to get items from the gnomes. I'd rather not fight them yet. They are a little bit tougher than the wildlife, and they also run. And they run pretty quick. Uh, granted, as a hunter, them running doesn't hurt us a lot, you know. And then down here is Frostmane Hold. We also have a quest for that. Same thing with the uh, gnomes. Some of these guys are a bit higher level. Level 8. I think some of the ones in the cave are level 9. So we're going to hold off on that too. We're just going to focus on trying to find some wildlife and grinding up to level 10 right now. We're probably going to hit level 10 uh, before finishing this quest. And like I said, we'll, we'll call a stop there because I want to... I want to get our pet before we progress too many more quests. I feel like things are getting to a point where having our pet is becoming necessary if we continue on doing too many things without our pet. Like, I don't want to go into, into the troll place without our pet. I don't want to fight the gnomes without our pet. Uh, I don't want to do anything else in Elvian without our pet, so... This is kind of like the last quest I feel good about doing without the pet. I feel like it's something that we naturally would have done 
without the pet had we just stayed here and leveled. We would have had to do a lot without the pet. Like, had we just stayed here and not zone hop, we would be going into uh, Frostbane Hold without a pet. We wouldn't have a choice. We're actually getting quite a bit of, uh, of minerals over here in Dunmoro. An add-on that I'll probably always use from now on is, is going to be Bagnon. It's just, it's just cleaner. I like that it organizes itself, that I don't have to spend time doing it. Um, so yeah, I'll keep using that, but... Bagnon and Immersion are probably just playthrough staples at this point that aren't going to go away. And, unless there comes to be like a better option for Immersion or something like that. We, we looked at Storyline or story time, whatever it's called. I, it was nice, but I didn't care for it. I can see how some people would like it. I, I kind of prefer like what I used to do to make it more immersive before when you know we were just reading these. How are you? Is I would I would kind of zoom in, you know. Sometimes I would just zoom in, and I'd have the quest box here, and we'd see the uh, the character, the NPC. So I, that's kind of like an Elder Scrolls style thing, where like we zoom in the quest. I I I would like something like that, where maybe like you take the quest, well, it brings you right in, and the quest dialogue, like the immersion box, is floating over here. And you just get zoomed into the quest giver. Because I used to do a lot of that manually back when Vanilla first came out. We were doing immersive playthroughs. And I liked it and people seemed to like it. But it, it gets a lot to make sure that you do it every time. You know what I mean? Like you try to get yourself to do it every time you take a quest. It, you're going to miss some. It's, it's not going to be 100% if you're doing it manually. Not unless you're the most meticulous person. And I, I'm, I'm not. I saw his boar coming in and I switched to melee. <laughs> and uh, it wasn't our mob. I probably could have got another shot off there. I really don't know how that ice leopard ran over there to kill that critter and didn't aggro us. But however that interaction worked out, uh, it might have saved our life. Very interesting. Yeah, that leopard ran right behind us, killed the rabbit, and went back to its pathway. Instead of murdering us uh, from behind. Big fan of the dynamite. Didn't think I would be, but it turns out that I am. Does a sizable chunk of damage. 
I wonder if we're going to get improved dynamite as we level up or if it's going to be something that we only use for a little while. It would be kind of sad if it never becomes anything more powerful or useful. Uh, let's go this way a little bit. Lots of dead wildlife, not a lot of uh, ambulatory wildlife. Hmm, yeah, just straight out nothing to fight. Seems a little weird. Seems a little weird. Hmm. We need like three kills and we can we can ding. <laughs> so there are suddenly no enemies anywhere. Like, yeah, that makes sense. Perfectly normal. These are not the elders that we need. These are large... Large crag borers are not elder crag borers. Apparently, there is a important difference. In case you were wondering. So here's here's all of the animals that would be alive. You you can clearly see that they're all they're all dead. They're all dead. Uh, yeah, somebody took the ore. It looks like there was ore somewhere, but then it, it disappeared. So probably another hunter leveling engineering. So there are a lot of you guys. Yeah, this is this is really interesting. I, I've never had this much problem just finding a couple of enemies. Forty-four people, that's that's not a small number. So it could be why things are kind of farmed out right now. I'm just, I'm just not seeing a lot of the players. But they have to be somewhere because everything's dead. Okay, there's level 10. We are going to head back over to Karanos. And I guess we're going to take the road. Might actually be the quickest path back. Maybe we'll find some ore on the way if we're really lucky, but we haven't uh, seen any for a second. I feel like there are plenty of other miners out here today. I feel like we should have got that last shot off there. Not quite sure why we didn't. Well, I mean, I know why. It was a it was a range thing, but it looked it looked good.
All right. What's on your mind? Taming the beast. Use the taming rod to tame a large cragbore. Practice your skills, then return the taming rod to Griff. Be good. Okay, guys, this is awesome. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. Uh, let's check out Marksman here. It reduces the mana cost of your shots and stings. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna go. We're gonna go Marksman for this playthrough, and uh, we're gonna take a break here for today. Next time, we are gonna get our actual full-blooded pet. We're going to do all the pet stuff. We're going to get our pet. We're going to do a few more things here in Dunmoro, and then we'll go back over to Elwyn, and we will continue there. Thank you guys very much for joining me today and for all of the support on this hardcore run. I really do appreciate you. And until next time, take care of yourselves out in the real world and take care of each other. And we'll see you here again very soon. Bye for now.